Okay, hey everybody, I'm down here in the corner. Um, I'm just doing another addition video to the Printful video that I did earlier. And I'll have a link to that one in the bottom if you want to see it. That tells you how to set up your store with your WooCommerce WordPress site. And that was basically for a new site. Um, I decided recently to merge a couple of my sites into an, one of my existing sites. I have a vinyl decal site, which currently has 800 products on it. And I wanted to start adding Printful products to that site, mugs and t-shirts and stuff. And um, you can do it. And what, the way you're setting it up is so Printful ignores all your existing products. So say if you have a store, WooCommerce WordPress site, already with products that you self-fulfill and you want to add Printful products to it, what you do is go ahead and create a, a Printful store in your dashboard. And I can go ahead and go that real quick, I think. Um, stores, I'll show you here. You would go here and you click right here. It says connect an e-commerce platform, connect. I'm not going to do it. I already did it. And then you type in the website to your current store if you've already done the setup and it tells you how to do it. It's like so simple. It took 15 minutes. Mango. I'm going to go ahead and click back to my store here. Uh, how do I get back to where I was? Is to go, once you connect your store, it's going to import all your existing products. They're not synced yet. Let's go to edit. Nope. I'm just going to click back. Let me get back to where I was. There we go. Um, and once it brings them all in, it'll show you all your products here. And what you have to do is you have to ignore the products you're going to self-fulfill that you do not want Printful to fulfill for you. And unfortunately, you have to go through do that for each existing product that you're going to do. And I have 880. I have 88 pages, 10 per page. So yeah, it's going to be cumbersome. But as you can see, and I'm using a tablet pen, I'm not using a mouse, but it's pretty fast to do. It should take me about 15 minutes or so, 20 minutes at most, to get these all done. And once you do that, then you can push products to your website like I showed you in the previous video. And that way you have a hybrid site of your own fulfilling products as well as Printful products that they'll fulfill for you. Now there is, whoops, I actually click edit there. I don't want to do that. There is one caveat to that though, is if you have a store that is completely, did I do 32? Yes. If you have a store that is completely Printful products, then you can install the Printful shipping module and it will take care of charging shipping for you. Now, if you don't, if you have a hybrid store, you can't use that shipping module. So you have to set up, what I did is I set up a shipping class, like I'm going to sell mugs on this site. So I set up a shipping class for mugs that will charge the shipping, shipping fee that they're going to charge me. They're going to charge, they charge uh, $6.50 for the first mug. Really, Mango? Um, so I have a shipping class that's going to take care of that. So be sure you do that. I'm going to go through and do a couple more here. So besides that, it's it still works out pretty well. Um, anybody buys a decal from my site, I'm going to fulfill. It charges shipping that I set up for the decal. And if somebody buys a mug or a t-shirt, Printful is going to take care of that for me. I don't have to do anything. And it will charge the shipping I set up for that shipping class. Now, there may be some instances if somebody buys two or three mugs and buys a decal that, you know, I might end up doing free shipping on the decal. That just can't be helped, I don't think. But um, that's it. It's pretty easy. So, again, if you have an existing store with current products that you fulfill, you can still connect to Printful. And you have to go through this method here. It's going to bring in, you see this is not, well, I'm pointing to the screen right here. Now it says not synced. Right now, if it went through as an order, Printful would still get the information, but it would set up a draft order because it hasn't been synced yet. 
and you would have to do whatever. So we'll cause a little hiccup. So nothing will really happen until you sync. But you hit these ignores on all the products and print foam won't do anything with those. Just the products. Um, let me go ahead and finish this page and go back to 88 because I have a few mugs. Like here's a mug right here. I want to sync that one. Trying to figure out how to do it. Oh, I have to create the product for it. So I already have that in here. Um, let's do that as a, yeah, I wish we'd sync because I have a options for 11 ounce. Let me just double check real quick. Yeah, this is 11 ounce. So I got to create the product for the 11 ounce. Now, once I'm done, I'm doing all these products. In the future, I'm going to create the product, Printful product, in Printful, and we'll push the product back to my website, so I won't have to do this again. That's white, and print file. Um, I have it over here in the other store. Let's remove this tag, and there it is. That says 15 inch. Uh, I'm probably going to have to make this 15 ounce one there because I have to create a 11 ounce version and hit continue. Now that one's synced up, so I will create one for the 11 ounce one later. So you guys don't have to watch me. I have to go to, into my. Uh, well, I guess I can show you really quick. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Bring up my Illustrator here and bring in my 11 ounce mug template. And let's remove this one. This is a printful template for a 11 ounce mug. Bring the guides, and there's our guide. So now let me go ahead and find where I have that little boop. And what I can do is, um, Let me just find my, uh, oh, where'd it go? This Mac, that's the 11 ounce, that's the t-shirt one, that's the one I want. So I created this for a t-shirt earlier, so I'm gonna grab this, make sure it's grouped together. It's all grouped. I'm gonna drag it over to my 11 ounce template, resize it. Oh, where'd it go? Put it down here, make it a little bit bigger. Okay, make sure this video doesn't go over 15 minutes. There we go. Now I'm going to control, copy, paste. Put it over here. I'm going to go ahead and remove it. It's kind of centered there where I want it. I'm just looking at the center line. I'm going to remove my guide and then I'm going to click both and do a horizontal center so they're both on line there. Then I'm going to do a file export file export as damn it file export as and I'm going to make sure it's PNG use artboards. There's only one artboard here. Export, make sure it's 300 are optimized. Okay. So, oops, I just, I didn't name that right. So anyway, I'm gonna go back to um, my 11 inch. I just used, oh, I synced it wrong. Anyway, let's go back to the 15 ounce. So we're gonna go to 15 ounce. That is correct. That is correct. Continue. Let's go back and let's unsync this. Choose product. Choose 11 inch or 11 ounce. Let's change file. And we're going to upload the one I just created. Mm, all files. Let's see if it's there on the front. There it is, 11 ounce. See, I forgot to name it the right one now. So it's going to upload it. And it's actually going to put this one in that store. 
choose it, it's continue. Um, retail price is all set up. So there we go. We're done. We've synced an existing one. So let's I'll have to go back. I'm going to go ahead and go back and uh, redo all those. I guess I'm going to work backwards now. But that's about it. That's uh, syncing up an existing product. Uh, that's ignoring your existing self-fulfilled products. And I already showed you how to push a product to a store. Check the link to the other video and you'll see that. Any questions, feel free to uh, ask in the comments. I try to answer all questions. If you are going to consider opening up your Printful account, I would highly uh, be happy if you would use the link below. Um, it's an affiliate link. I get a little something something if you sign up under my name and I would appreciate it. So much love to you and hope you have fun with your Printful shop on WooCommerce and WordPress. Thank you very much.